Do you hear that kick-ass tune? Does it instantly teleport you to a simpler time, or does it warp you into a high-octane FPS based on exploits of a well-decorated Navy SEAL? Well, it's not quite that. This is Rogue Warrior. I mean, Dick Marcinko's Rogue Warrior. We begin with the eponymous rogue warrior and his crew of no-nonsense ass-kickers. We see the crew invade North Korea for your typical snoop and poop. They all seem tough as nails and ready to kill on command when this happens. So we're left with old dick here, but that's more than enough. We are to make rendezvous with the CIA contact and recon the factory. Sounds simple enough, but that's before shit hits the fan. Now this seems like a stealth shooter with all of its glorious kill moves, and yes, there are a lot. But what tends to happen is you get spotted, Damn and then you have to blow your way out of whatever building you're in. So let's summarize the levels. Infiltrate the facility, meet your contact. Well, we get to meet him and recover some intel. Matter of perspective, I recovered the intel. Commies are building the missiles right here in Ungi. We gotta destroy these newly discovered missiles. A few missiles got away, but we'll get them. Oh, oh, they're going to move them by land, not sea? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, whatever you say, boss. The missiles are moving to Russia. Uh-oh. So we gotta blow this bridge up. Well, it turns out the missile program is Soviet after all. Dick doesn't fuck around, and neither do we. So we're gonna find and destroy the rest of the missiles. Son of a bitch. Say again, Marcinko. Bad fucking juju, Admiral. The missile program isn't Korean. It's fucking Soviet. So... We now gotta infiltrate the palace, locate the control center, and blow it to hell. Oh yeah. Here we are inside the palace. Deeper into the palace, we find the control center. Not only is Dick a gunslinging god, he's also trained in the ways of Soviet technology. He reprograms the missile targeting system to the palace and Shit. calls it a day. You reading me, Admiral? We're to locate the second shipment of missiles and destroy the silos. We blast our way through and place the charges on the missiles. In the tail on the donkey. Now there's one thing left to do. Send me the bill, cocksuckers. Now we gotta infiltrate the dam, destroy some turbines, and get out of there. A bit of a trend here, but we're almost done. So we plant the charges, shoot some guys, and slide down some rope. The most rigid rope. I've ever seen, by the way. And for this last one, I don't know, go blow the thing up. Communism equals bad. So we do the shooting, we do the killing, and we do the booming. Party's over. Now, I can't describe this, so just watch and let the sweet music take you away. Mickey Rourke. Oh my god, that explains so much. Oh, I, I bet you Mickey Rourke is like, I need a game made, a, made about me and I need to fuck people up. I want to fucking pe fuck people up. What more can I say? The stealth is weird and underbaked. All the guns feel marginally different. The movement is jank and the stealth kills. 
Whoa. Oh my god. I think that was the worst one. I think that was straight up the worst one. He he straight up sodomized this guy with a fucking knife. Well, yeah, they're pretty cool. And just to let you know, Richard Dick Marcinko is in fact a real person. He started in the Navy all the way back in 1958. He was in the Navy SEALs. He even spent time in a federal prison. Seems like he had a very interesting life to say the least. He did end up passing away in late 2001 of a heart attack at the age of 81. His 1992 autobiography is actually titled Rogue Warrior as well. And all I could find about Dick's involvement in this game was a mention in this Gamma Sutra interview with a developer, Aaron Guy. All in all, I think... <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that this was all orchestrated by Mickey Rourke, but I don't know. <laughs> That's just a little bit of headcanon that I thought was funny. One thing left to ask. Do you remember Dick Marcinko's Rogue Warrior?